So welcome back and today this is part 7 of the Call Manager Express setup video series and as you can see today we're looking at expansion modules so let's say you somehow managed to fill up a 797 series phone you would be absolutely crazy if you managed to fill up this phone but they make expansion modules so that you can add more buttons yeah this is a 7914 expansion module. As you can see, it adds, I believe, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. They can count. That's good to know. But you can also get the 7915, which is the same thing, but it's got two pages, so it does 28. And then there's also the 7916, which does, well, the same, but it's got a colour screen. Um, yeah, let's look on the back here, as you can see it's very simple, it's got two auxiliary ports, um, yeah, you just plug one into the phone, it actually has an arrow saying which one, well, the one it's plugged into right there, and then you plug in a 48 volt power supply into there. These will not work over power of ReefNet, which is annoying, but yeah, it's what it is. So I've got a power brick plugged into the expansion module, the phone is being powered via power of ReefNet. You could also power the phone from the power brick and it will in turn power I think up to two expansion modules. I think you can only have two expansion modules anyway so that's a good method but obviously you don't get to use PoE then. I'm powering the expansion module simply because I don't have the correct power adapter to power this phone but I found a random 48 volt one for an Avea phone, plug straight into there works fine. Now, you do have to remember that the 7914 expansion module will work with pretty much any phone that has the auxiliary port except the 7940 series, because 7940, I don't know why they won't let you put an expansion module on that, it could really do with one. But the 7915 and the 7916 only work on the 7975 and the 7965. Don't ask why Cisco made that change because I'd really like to put this 7916 on this 7970 because it's got a colour screen and stuff. It matches the screen on the phone, but uh. so we've hooked up our expansion module. Now, if we actually go onto the phone here, and I believe it's under device configuration, somewhere in here it actually tells you. Uh, it might be status actually. Yeah, status expansion modules. We can see our 7914s online. You can have two expansion modules. I was correct. Now, to make this work, you do need to have the firmware for your expansion module on your call manager server. Follow the, I think it was the second tutorial. One of our tutorials actually covered how to put the firmware onto the call manager using TFTP. That's what you're going to need to do because without these things don't actually have built any built-in firmware. When you power up the server, power up the server, power up the phone, if it's configured for an expansion module and it sees an expansion module plugged in, it will download the firmware and it will basically put it into resident memory on this expansion module so that it works. So let's hop over to the computer and I'll show you well, how to add the expansion module, it's very simple. The connection is actually timed out here, so let's enter, enable, and let's do show run. And we're going to go to ePhone 3 here. So as you see, here's our ePhone 3, and you can actually see how this has been set up. So, right here we have the type of the phone, and you literally just put the type of the phone and then you add add-on, the number of the add-on, so you can mix and match different generations of add-on if you want. Why you would do that I have no idea, you could technically put a 7914 next to a 7916 if you have a phone that supports both of them expansion modules, but the 7914 is probably your safest bet, it works on every phone except the 7940 and the phones without the auxiliary port obviously. So, yeah, then you just put the type, and I believe you can just put add-on to, and then 7914 if you have two expansion modules. 
Then to add speed dials to it, you literally just take the amount of speed dial buttons on the phone minus the amount of line buttons, if that makes sense. So we've got one line button, as you can see, line one. So then BLF speed dial one is on the second button on the phone. So the seventh button on the phone is the last button, if that makes sense. So speed dial eight is the very first speed dial button on the expansion module, which is where I've put that speed dial. So let's go over back to the phone and I'll show you this in operation. So obviously we've got our expansion there. So if we hook up took this phone off the hook and maybe we should actually do a phone call so it's not like gonna vanish on us. We can actually see here this 3100 extension is also here and you can see you get the same BLF features basically. We can also see that the other phone there is working correctly. So that's pretty simple. It's just like adding normal speed dial buttons to this phone. Just obviously this will be BLF speed dial 7 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 because we have one line button. If you have two lines, then it'll obviously be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you go, that's, well, expansion modules. They're basically just like having more line button, well, more speed dial buttons. Add as many as you want. Now, you should also remember that the 7916 and 7915 have two pages so you can actually configure these so that they are either just 14 buttons i think there's 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 oh there's only 12 buttons on here mm, naughty actually yeah, that makes sense 12 yeah they're just, these are basically just these two here cheeky cisco so yeah you've got 12 buttons here and you can even set this up so it's 12 buttons with no pages or you can say it to be 24 buttons with the two pages. So, yeah, bear that in mind when you configure that. And that's basically just when you put the add-on in, just put in 7916 and then press the tab key and it'll show you the two options. Obviously, I think it's probably best to have it as a two-page unit unless you somehow crazily need two 7916 expansion modules I mean, I guess there is a need to maybe have more than 12 um, BLF things all at be visible at once because with the two pages you obviously miss out a bit. So yeah, just a little bit of tidbit info there for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to hopefully try and do some more, but these videos do take quite a while to film. This has taken me probably a good hour to film two videos today yeah it's not the best and obviously i'm sitting next to a cisco 3560 switch it's killing my eardrums i don't really have a solution to that because i don't have a silent poe switch i i really need to get another um i've got a cisco catalyst 520 eight port poe switch it's fanless it's amazing i need to try and buy some more of them because that would make these videos a bit more easy to make. I'm also covered in thousands of cables. I've got Cisco console cables, millions of Ethernet cables. Yeah, it's a mess. Um, but hey, it's the fun I do for YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.